Hey, what's up, Next Level Crew, and welcome back to What's Your Next. And I am very excited today because this is one of the first episodes we've done in a while that didn't include the letters FDD. <laughs> right. <laughs> so welcome back and joining us. Today we're going to cover something very basic, and that is when you are taking a deep dive into the world of business ownership one of the very best ways and most exciting avenues for entrepreneurship is franchise opportunities. And we're going to talk a little bit about what are franchise opportunities today. So Stacy, can you start off by explaining what are franchise opportunities to the audience? Welcome to What's Your Next. This is the go-to podcast for aspiring business owners who want to get to the next level, escape the rat race, and give their middle finger to the corporate nine to five. If you want financial freedom, work-life balance, and the business of your dreams, you're in the right place. Dave and Stacy Riska, husband-wife franchising duo, openly share their successes, failures, and lessons learned in franchising, business ownership, and working with your spouse. Yeah, so a lot of people have misconceptions about it because they think, ooh, franchise, right? McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, it's all French fries and fast food, right? Mm. Is it, Dave? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. So here's some fun stats to start off our discussion today. How many different franchise concepts do you think there are, Dave? I know you know Why well, You know I know <laughs> <laughs> Tell our audience. All right, there's 4,000 plus. There are yeah. more than 4,000. And how many people do franchises employ? Well, that's a tough question because it probably changes, but I've heard a million people. Eight. More than eight million ah, people. Wow, See, he's was, testing me. I was, he's no, I was me. way off. <laughs> and what about veterans? They're big to getting into franchising. Uh, absolutely. In fact, I believe it's of franchise businesses aren't aren't 10 percent of them or something one out of every seven franchises ah, is than, veteran one owned. out of seven so there, one out of seven. there you go that's a lot all right so that being said what are some of the key benefits of franchise opportunities yeah when people are looking at a franchise opportunity it's because they're looking to make a change and they want a business that's going to be stable can provide income freedom flexibility but what is a franchise? When you're investing money into a franchise opportunity, you're getting the brand. So the name, the logo, the recognition, customers who may already know and love and support that brand. But you're also getting all of the training, the support, the marketing, and many times the back office call center and solutions and technology that are going to support you. Right. Done for you. Done, done for, for you. Services. We love those right. kind of That's businesses. fantastic. So that being said, what are some of the financial aspects or important financial points about fran uh, about franchise opportunities ah franchise opportunities cost money you mean you have to uh <laughs> you have to have some money yes you're gonna have to have some money and dave and i when we work with candidates we want you to be financially stable so you should really consider having a minimum of fifty thousand dollars in the bank to give serious consideration most franchise opportunities are going to be in the range of a hundred to 150000 And don't worry, you don't have to have that all in the bank. We have wonderful funding partners we can connect you with. And many of the top franchises that we work with actually provide their own funding for you. Absolutely. And I am super interested now in franchise opportunities. Should I run out there and research franchises all over the internet? Ah, the, probably the most common question we're asked. I want a franchise opportunity. I'm just going to Google it. And Dave, what do we say? We say, don't Err. do it. Why not, Dave? Well, you, there's so much misinformation out there about franchises and franchise opportunities that when you're out there researching on the internet, you don't even know if the information you're getting is real. Probably bigger than that is something we call getting sharked. And that is, if you're looking at franchise opportunities, you're probably filling out these fancy forms that look like they may belong to the franchisor and they're really not. They're just some lead gathering organization. 
and you're gonna put your name on a list and you're gonna start getting emailed, texted, called, so on and so forth. So we highly encourage you that that is really not the best way to start your journey in looking at franchise opportunities. So what they should do is work with someone like us, somebody who's been down all the paths, actually owns a franchise today, and we have our own nine-step proprietary system that we guide you through to really help you learn about, explore franchise opportunities, but ultimately find the one that's going to be a great fit for you. What would you say is the biggest mistake that many people make when they're first exploring franchise opportunities. Ah, and we've seen a lot of them because we've worked with so many candidates. I think the biggest mistake that I've seen in talking to candidates about franchise opportunities is they'll come on all gung-ho in that first call and they'll be like, Stacy, Dave, we're ready to get a franchise. We want to do a Dunkin' Donuts because we love donuts. And what would you say, Dave? <laughs> I'd say, please don't do that either. <laughs> right. It's, you don't know what you don't know. And it's one of those things where, and I'll just give it to you from our experience. When we went through this exact process, which we did 17 years ago with our current franchise, if you told me that I would end up acquiring a coffee, a Hawaiian coffee and smoothie franchise, I would have told you you were crazy. Right. <laughs> but what we did do is go in with an open mind. We looked at many concepts. We narrowed it down to three and we did our due diligence. And this is the one we ended up with. And it was certainly not what we had in mind when we started. So we just say keep an open mind about franchises because it may be there's a better fit for you based on your why, what you're trying to accomplish, than the one that you think is the most obvious. Yeah, I'm thinking of the last two candidates we worked with. One, they ended up in a mobile pet grooming franchise. <laughs> and they came in and they knew like they love pets, but they just didn't know what was out there. So just like we never knew that there was such thing as a Hawaiian themed coffee smoothie franchise, they never knew there was mobile grooming. Another candidate we worked with, they kind of knew like they wanted to travel, they wanted some freedom and flexibility. They had no idea there was a travel agency that was a franchise. So come in with an open mind. Almost all the candidates we work with end up in a business that they never even thought of, never knew the name of, and never had envisioned themselves in it. Yeah, absolutely. So looking back on franchise opportunities, how about you give them just a brief summary of the key points that we've covered today? Yeah, so if you're going to look at franchise opportunities, I think Dave said it best. Come in with an open mind. Be willing to learn and explore. Don't do it on the internet. Can Really pay attention to, think, to um, people that can help you. We're, we are franchise consultants, and we're like a realtor for franchises. When you're going to buy your dream home, you work with a realtor. If you're serious about finding the business of your dreams, work with someone like us. who We're going to help you get clarity on your why, help you understand all the documents, make that front of the line introduction so you can get your questions answered, and ultimately make sure that whatever business you end up checks all the boxes for you and answers your why, why you want to own a business. So in kind of summarizing what we talked about today, it was really Franchise Opportunities 101. We shared some fun stats. We talked about what a franchise is, the basics of what you get when you're investing, what that monetary investment level can look like, some of the mistakes we've seen people make, also why they end up working with someone like us. I think that summarizes it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you had a great summary there for everything that we just covered. So we wanted to thank you for joining us for another episode of What You're Next. What's Your Next? No FDD today, so we were all happy about that. Please, if you like our content, like, subscribe, thumbs up, all those good things, and we'll catch you on the next episode of What's Your Next. Bye.